Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. This is the Final Fantasy IV First Dungeon, which features Golbez's BSB and Cecil's BSB. Let's take a look at the relics, see what's good, see what's bad and all that. So first we have Ragnarok. We have enough swords called Ragnarok now, don't we? 167 attack, glowing blue sword, looks pretty cool, adds a small boost to holy damage, deal massive physical holy and non-elemental damage to one target, can break the damage cap. No special features here besides the holy damage, so unfortunately it is a standard OSB, but it works well of course with his BSB, if you don't have his BSB then it makes it a little bit crappier. Zero Miss Shard. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Looks like a really cool looking rod, doesn't it? Uh, 129 magic, 55 attack, 66 mind. Wouldn't really be using mind too much, but it's there anyway. Twin Moon. Deal 7 magic, dark, and non elemental attacks to one target. Haste and burst mode to the user, temporarily raise the user's magic a moderate amount and defense a very large amount and temporarily attract single target physical and black magic attacks. That's a fuckload of shit, but Mage Knight I guess will work pretty well with Golbez because he would mainly be in the back row as well, so... And plus he'll have a pretty high magic resistance. I know he can use heavy armor, but he can use armor which can give him uh, magic resistance as well. But, yeah, even just normally being a mage, he should have high resistance anyway. So, pretty damn interesting, doesn't it? His burst abilities are even more interesting. First is Shadow Dragon, grants the user barrier. This is really good. And negates attack damage up to 30% of the max HP stone skin of course if the user does not have summon strike grant them summon strike I like how their wording is now it's a lot better and if they have summon strike deal for summon magic and dark attacks to all targets and remove summon strike from the user and summon strike is only active during burst mode. I'm glad they put that in as well because I wasn't too sure about it last time I believe they didn't have the wording for it with Yunus and yeah that's pretty damn good the second one is Glare Hand, which works pretty well with the actual burst soul break effect. The. What is it? Luring effect. Deal 4 magic dark attacks to one target and heal the user for a proportional of the damage dealt. Man, it's 4 hits too, which is pretty crazy. So you'll be getting pretty good damage at us. Perseus Bow. 133 mind. Yeah, that's alright. Rose is sticking to her bows. Deal 5 white magic holy attacks to all targets, restore a large amount of HP to all allies. Very similar to. Uh. Eretz one. Burst abilities restore a large amount, a very large amount of HP to one ally, enable them to avoid one magic attack. I guess that's a pretty good burst effect, like above average burst effect for a white mage. So yeah, pretty nice. And Ripple of Life, restore a small amount of HP to all allies. Unfortunately, it's only a small amount, so you'll barely be using this. But yeah, the first burst ability is definitely really good. Unfortunately, it's also a magic bow, which... I mean, a white magic bow, so not many people can use it. Sid's Gloves. Sid's a little bit um, iffy because he only can equip hammers, daggers, and axes, I believe. So... Even if you get this, it may be a little bit of trouble to equip, so I've heard, because there's not a lot of these weapons for Final Fantasy IV. But hey, there's like axes for gold bears at least as well. Okay, so good range of stats being a bracer. Deal 6 range physical attacks to all targets, temporarily lower their attack, magic, defense, resistance, and mind. So it's a penta break, and if you guys don't know, it also stacks with full break because it adds in the mind as well. So just in case you didn't know that, six attacks is pretty decent. Same as like say Irvines and shit like that as well. So we're seeing this effect more and more often. Golbez's cloak, 17 magic. I'm guessing, yep, this is N dark. So your typical SSB now, which does attacks and N elements. So yep, we kind of already know what that leads to. Radiant robe, <laughs> it looks like pajamas. <laughs> Looks like very comfortable pajamas. Definitely lowered the dark resistance of all targets and raised the ma party's magic and mind a moderate amount. So that's a new one, I think. I don't remember magic and mind a moderate amount, but 
yeah, definitely fantastic for um, a mage party because you would only be using that and plus it would stack with um, your magic buffs as well. So that's really cool. Azura Rod. 127 magic, 66 mind. Deal 8 magic holy and fire and lightning attacks. Gosh, that's a lot. Toll targets temporarily lower their magic and resistance a large amount. Pretty nice as well. Gosh, that's like a lot of stuff that lowers magic and resistance. A large amount too, so that's pretty insane. Alright, so after that, uh, also small boost to holy damage, take that as you would. So yeah, the last two is just your typical soul breaks. This one's protection shell, which is pretty nice. And fairy claws deal three ranged physical attacks at all targets enable each ally to avoid one physical attack pretty nice for uh, just a soul break too I remember like super soul breaks like valkyrie and stuff I only do magic attacks and that's it it's pretty sad anyway let's do the 100 gem draw I do not have or I probably have the worst Final Fantasy 4 synergy out of like a lot of people so I'm a little bit worried for this one but the Sid mission seems to be okay and we got a three star so the question is, should I do an 11 draw? The thing is, we just got the survey up, so it's kind of the idea that we're gonna get the anniversary stuff and also the ultra spanner, maybe. So is this stuff actually good or not? Good question. I think I can actually pass the Sid mission if I use Sid Reigns as a room warrior for Kane because Kane is obviously weak to dark and that's probably my saving grace there. Unfortunately I don't have any Medicas, don't have any Haystargas, so it makes things really really hard as always. So But then I'll just be gunning for just whatever has Haystarga and whatever has Medica, and the only thing that has Medica is of course Rose's bow. Makes it really really tough. I think all the rest of them have Medica here. I mean, all the rest of them have Haystarga. Unless you count burst modes. Um, Protection Shell was pretty nice too. You know what? Let's do a 3 draw. Let's play it safe. And well, it's not really playing it safe because it's obviously not guaranteed 5 star. But say if I don't get it, then we could possibly do another 3 draw or 1 draw in hopes again. <laughs> so we'll give it a shot. I don't really want to waste all my mithril here, but even if I get like one five star, it would be fantastic. If I get no five stars, then obviously that's the worst case scenario. So, fingers crossed for this. Please, Mr. Mog, grant me a five star. Any five star except for soul breaks. Ah, oh, Rose's dress is good too, so. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Mr. Mog. Yes! We got one, we got one, we got one. That's all I asked for, Mog. Not a nice B, obviously, but come on. Okay. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, super soul break, but kinda not really what I needed, but it does a lot of magic attacks, that's for sure. So, definitely going into my team of Final Fantasy 4 because obviously I don't really have much of a choice <laughs> but yeah definitely really cool I'm just gonna leave it at there 81 Mithra I'm happy with that so I'll see you guys later hope you have a good one good luck on your draws and peace out